have no explanation of why I've been gone for so long other than my daughter but like sorry I'm back hi hi guys I am back with a tutorial um if you like this look keep on watching on how to get it um and let's see I think like that's it like let's get into it I don't like to talk too much because like that gets boring so does this life get any brighter or no I would change my shirt because I didn't feel cute not that this shirt is even cute but like I don't know I like me in black more than white if that's like a thing <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm just gonna teach you how to do a basic face, a basic beat face. So like, if you wanna look naturally beautiful, which you already are, but like, honey, let's bring it up to a, you are a 10, let's bring it up to a 20, okay? So, this is Becca's Skin Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is in color opal. And this is like gonna bring you like light to your skin. But like here's what I do. Like I just do this is like here I do like this and then I do this. Oh it's about to like come off. <gasps> no ignore. Um I picked it up. Just kidding, no I didn't. I'll pick it up after. I use my beauty blender. This is from Wet and Wild. It was like four dollars um saving some coin i know we like to support the beauty blender but like look it it does the same thing save your coin okay next i have been obsessed with like letting things sit so um two face born this way concealer this is in color medium tan so i'll do this i'll take a little bit just kidding, it's not gonna be a little bit, but we're gonna do like this, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing. This is like such, this is like almost my skin tone, but you'll see why. I just, I like to let it sit. And what I feel like it does, I feel like almost like baking, but with concealer. And I feel like it just, it lasts longer and like, I feel like it oxidizes to your skin tone better. And then I will take the e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in color Light Peach. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna be my skin tone, but it is. And um, let me tell you how, see, I like to just put it over. I really need the extra concealing so like right here and right here and right here i feel like i just really want to bring light to that spe specific place and then i will let it sit for about 20 to 30 seconds and then i'll blend with my beauty blender by wet and wild <laughs> then i'm going to be taking the wet and wild photo Fo photo focus foundation this is in bronze beige and i'm just gonna be putting it um like literally everywhere um i don't really have a specific place where i put it i just kind of put it everywhere and i just blend it with my wet and wild sponge mm -hmm. um i don't really let this sit i just kind of all um oh you see how like the I don't know if you can see but like how the concealer just brightens up everything um it doesn't go away i feel like when i put the foundation over i feel like it just stays um you can put it all over your lips too there's a reason why i put my foundation all over my lips because i contour my lips i know that's kind of weird but i do and then with that you're just gonna blend um it after you feel like it's been like oxidizing into your skin 
Okay, now I like to mix these two together. This is the Catrice Cosmetics. You can get this at Ulta. Um, it's a prime and fine mattifying, mattifying powder, waterproof. Um, not so much waterproof, but kind of. It just depends on how you use it. It, I don't know, like I cry and it, my water, not my water, my tears kind of sink into the foundation and I don't know, maybe I cry too much, maybe that's why. But it's, it can be waterproof, it just depends. I think it's more sweat proof than waterproof if that makes sense. Um, and this is the Bare Minerals, this is in Fairly Medium 05. Um, so here's what I do. I'll just show you what I do. So I'll take, that's too much, um, but it's okay. So I'll just do like this. And then I will take like, actually no, I don't want to take that. I'll take my tiny beauty blender and I'll just see, this is how you know I use it because there is a hole in it. So I'll take probably this side and I'll just swirl it. See, I'll swirl it and then I'll put it like right under my eyes. Let me see if it's gonna. It might be. So this is just like a security blanket, if you will. Um, I do this a lot. And then once this is on, then I'll add the bare minerals. I don't like to put this everywhere because I feel like it mattifies everything and I don't really want to mattify my whole face because I like the dewy finish. Um, this is just me personally. If you like a mattifying finish, then you'll probably want to put it everywhere, but I do not. Um, and then, you know, this I'll put, this is the bare, bare minerals. I'll put it under where... I'll put it exactly where I put the Catrice. So I'm just doing that. Then after we are going to bronze and contour. Um, first, I always bronze with the Hula Benefit. This is my favorite. As you can see, I'm hitting pan. Like we don't lie here. We tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So I'll take like a, a angle. This is the angle brush. And I will just kind of do circle motions just to like get a kissy bronze look, if you will. With that same bronzer, I'll take a little brush and I will contour my nose. So I'll just do this and then I will do very, very lightly. Some girls like to overdo the contour on the nose which is totally fine but that's not for me at all um i used to bronze my contour my nose too much and it just did not look good no one told me i had to learn for myself um i'll contour my lips so when you do this you make your lips look bigger if you haven't noticed and then like right here it's just a, all an illusion. It's all an illusion, honey, just so you know. <laughs> then with the Morphe bronze, this is in... I'm not pronouncing this. I don't know how to pronounce it. You can if you want, but I'm not. Um, so it just looks like this. It just looks like a more deeper um, bronzer. This is what I contour with every day and it just it looks really cute i don't know i it's what i like to do i'll go to the temples of my head and my jawline to make it look more slim and this is basically the end of my contour and bronzer now wait um so what i will do i'll take i'll go back to the catrice I'll take a very tiny brush and well thin brush and I'll cut the contour. So what this does, it gives it a really fine it's my hair. Um just a really fine dimension. 
so this is gonna cut the contour it's gonna make it look really clean i'll go right here too really clean and just not messy or tacky um you want to leave that on for a good 20 30 seconds it just depends on you um i just do about 30 seconds and i take it off so blush um the anastasia beverly hills blush kit um obsessed um the colors are vegas oh oh dusk chocolate and blackberry and i'm going to be taking vegas and chocolate these two are my favorite don't look um these two are my favorite colors in the whole entire world i love these colors um just they're really pigmented so you kind of have to just work your way with them this is already a lot of blush for me um this is another reason why i like these blushes because i don't need a lot so they last me a really long time um and yeah i don't know i always love this i don't know this it's just such a nice color like it brings out your your face i don't know it just brings out something going back to the becca shimmering skin protector um i will take a little bit of it um like the tiniest i'll put it on my nose on the bridge of my nose and a little bit right here um this is really tricky because it's a liquid and you already put your powder down so what you want to do be really really careful because sometimes it just picks up on the powder and your makeup will get really patchy so you just kind of it's a learning uh, it's a learning lesson um i just kind of learned how to do it you just have to be really soft taps not very hard and it looks beautiful so you just gotta keep on doing that and yeah i will be back in a second okay do you see the glimminess of it it's so pretty so this is the anastasia glow kit sweet um it's marshmallow but it's got sassy grape and taffy i'm gonna open it very carefully because it is broken um it fell because my sister dropped it um we're not gonna name names but she did my kia um <laughs> So we're gonna take butterscotch and see like right here. This is probably just do you see how beautiful? Isn't that just so beautiful? Mm -mm -mm. Look. Honey, if that's not a glazed donut, I don't know what is. And then we will take the sassy grape. The sassy grape. And the marshmallow. I like to mix both. And we will do it at the highest points of the highlight. And it will make it more dramatic than it needs to be. But, like, that's fine because, like... That's what I like. This might be too much highlight for some people and that's fine, but this is the way that I like it personally. And then I will take my Wet n Wild Coconut Primer and I'll spray it all over my face. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not gonna spray it on my face, but for those who are going out, I mean, you can spray this and it works. Okay, and I think this is the last step. Good lord, we're done. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner, and honey, did it break? Oh, I was so scared. I was about to cry, but it's almost out. That's how you know I use it. Um, so this is how I line my lips.
and then I'll color them in with it. Let me tell you, gel, not gel, um, Wet n Wild lip liners are so easy to use, and they're like, what, two dollars? Like, save your coin. This is why I'm here. I'm here to help you save your coin. This is NARS. Uh, this is in poor tortillas. I don't know what color this is in, but, um, NARS. And, oh my god, this lip combo. Mm. It's so, it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. And then, we will do the lipstick. This is in Bound. Um, this is the lip gloss, my bad. And then, just, just to make it more juicy, and it smells like cookies, it's so good. It's like my favorite thing ever. And then I will be right back. Okay guys, and this is it. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Um, I just wanted to do something that was gonna be really quick. Um, I know that there's nothing really to get ready for since we're all locked in. Um, but people still work, people still have jobs, um, and I thought that this would be a good tutorial for something, for someone to do really quick and wanting to look nice because I feel like you should still put effort into looking nice and like you shouldn't stop like looking nice because of, you know, a crisis. I feel like when you look good, you feel good and I know that. I don't know, I have just been, I was dealing with depression, now I'm kind of not because it's just like, I don't know, certain things, but doing my makeup always makes me really happy, hence why I'm back, and yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that, I'm back, um, I hope you guys miss me because I miss you. And I don't even know how many subscribers I have on this channel, to be honest, because, like, it's been forever, and I'm so sorry. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I don't know when the next video will be. Um, just comment what you guys want to see next, and I'll probably do it because, like, we're in lockdown. <laughs> Be safe. Um, wash your hands and keep a distance. Be smart. Be safe. And remember, makeup comes off at the end of the day, but your heart stays the same. I love you. Bye.